The air conditioning lesson will be covered in four sections. Let's begin with general description. The air conditioning system is used to heat, cool, and dehumidify the cockpit, cabin, cargo, and e, &E compartments. The air conditioning system uses bleed air from the aircraft engines, auxiliary power unit, or a ground air cart. Two independent packs operate in parallel to supply the air conditioning system. Each pack is composed of heat exchangers, an air cycle machine, a water separator, and an air mix valve. The pack valve allows bleed air from the left or right supply duct to enter the air conditioning pack. The primary heat exchanger operates automatically to cool bleed air entering the pack. In flight, the heat exchangers use ram air to cool the bleed air from the pneumatic system. Ram air enters through the ram inlet doors, flows over the heat exchangers, and exhaust through louvered exhaust doors. The ram inlet doors are adjustable and mechanically connected to the louvered exhaust doors. When a pack is operated on the ground or in flight with the flaps extended, a pack cooling fan operates to maintain adequate airflow over the heat exchangers. A motor operated inlet door opens when the fan is activated. A check valve incorporated in the ram air inlet prevents air from escaping through the ram inlet. The air cycle machine, through a process of compression and expansion, provides cooled supply air to the air mix valve. The ACM compressor converts warm air from the primary heat exchanger into higher pressure, higher temperature air. The secondary heat exchanger converts the ACM compressor discharge air mixed with warm primary heat exchanger air into cool air. Operation of the secondary heat exchanger is identical to the primary heat exchanger. The ACM turbine converts cool secondary heat exchanger air into cold air by rapid expansion. Temperature sensors monitor compressor discharge temperature and turbine inlet temperature. A water separator removes condensed water from the ACM turbine discharge. An anti-ice system prevents icing in the water separator. An anti-ice valve coupled with a temperature sensor supplies warm air from the primary heat exchanger to the water separator, preventing ice formation. The air mix valve is a combination of a cold air valve, a hot air valve, and a cool air valve. These valves operate simultaneously. The cold air valve receives cold air from the ACM. The hot air valve receives hot bleed air from the pack valve. And the cool air valve receives cool air from the secondary heat exchanger. Air mix valve position determines the workload of the ACM. If cold air is required, ACM workload increases because more air must flow through the ACM turbine. If warm air is required, ACM workload decreases because more air bypasses the ACM turbine. Air leaving the air mix valves enters the air distribution system at the crossover duct. The crossover duct supplies ACM air to the cockpit and cabin. Normally, the left pack supplies a small amount of air to the cockpit, and the remaining air mixes with the right pack air in the crossover duct. 
Air enters the cockpit through overhead, windshield, and foot air outlets. Air enters the passenger cabin through overhead and sidewall vents. Two distribution valves adjust airflow between these vents. A gasper system draws cold air from the left pack air mix valve and distributes it to individual outlets in the cockpit and passenger cabin. A gasper fan augments cold air distribution from the left pack to the individual outlets within the cockpit and cabin. With the left pack off, the fan draws air from the air conditioning distribution bay. With the gasper fan off, air to the gasper system is available from the cockpit air conditioning duct through a restrictor valve. Ground conditioned air may be connected directly to the crossover duct for distribution into the cockpit and passenger cabin. The air conditioning distribution system has several check valves which prevent reverse airflow. The air distribution system has several temperature sensors that supply cockpit information. They include a main supply sensor, forward and aft supply sensors, and forward and aft cabin temperature sensors. Overheat protection sensors monitor the air conditioning distribution system for excessive temperatures. They include duct temperature limit sensors, duct overheat sensors, pack trip-off sensors, and supply overheat sensors. Conditioned air leaves the passenger cabin through floor-level exhaust vents and flows around the forward and aft cargo compartments. It then exhausts overboard through a cargo heat and pressurization outflow valves. Both cargo compartments are heated and cooled by routing cabin exhaust air around the compartment walls. A cargo heat outflow valve controls the flow of air around the forward cargo compartment. In flight, with the flaps retracted, additional heating of the aft cargo compartment is automatically provided by electrically heated wall blankets. Air conditioning system controls and indicators for the captain and first officer are located on the glare shield and the captain's and first officer's instrument panels. Air conditioning system controls and indicators for the second officer are located on the upper instrument panel. Lower instrument panel and auxiliary panel. 